Well, Richard Paco boy, he's certainly uh, travelled some miles this year. Yeah, he has. He's, he's getting very used to it now. He's been on planes before. He's uh, been to America. He's been to France. He's been here. It's all pretty routine to him, and he, he takes it very well. He appears to have taken this trip especially well. I think he's, he's loving the sunshine and the changing climate, and it'll probably do him a lot of good. He's uh, been one of the best milers in the world over the last couple of years now, and he's racing against the best. Yeah, he has. He's been unfortunate to bump into Goldie Cover so many times this year. And when he's been beaten, I'm not making excuses for him, but there have been sort of situations that could have panned out better for us. He didn't turn very well in America and then stormed home. But yeah, he's, he's been thoroughly reliable and a, a pleasure to be associated with. The firm ground here on Sunday, will that suit him? Yeah, you know, a lot of his best form is on, is on firm ground. He's, he's won the Group 1, the Queen Anne at Royal Ascot, and that ground was probably firmer than, than this. Um, he's got ground. He's got form on all sorts of ground, and uh, yeah, I don't, just don't think we'll train him on it this week. You know, we'll just use the dirt, and then race day he should be fine, no problem. Ryan Moore's in outstanding form, coming off the uh, international win last night at uh, Happy Valley. Yeah, he's an outstanding jockey, isn't he? And uh, he's one we're very pleased to have on our side. How do you see this race unfolding, speed-wise? Well, uh, you know, we were discussing it earlier on in the week. I'm not sure there's a whole load of speed. I think there's that. Is it able one? Is a, is a six furlong, or has been a six furlong horse? Yeah, but I mean, when I shouldn't worry about speed. You know, when you're racing for this sort of money, I'm sure there'll be some speed turn up somewhere, and you know, he he can handle it pretty much however they they race. He can sit off the pace, on the pace, wherever you like. If he was to win Sunday, is this potentially swan song before he goes oh, off absolutely. to stud? Absolutely, yeah. This is his last run, and hopefully he will win and sign him off to stud, and he'll go out on a high, which will be fantastic for him and for his new owners. His biggest danger, you think? I think probably Safrisa ran a very good race in Japan and would, one, would be one that we're frightened of, but you know, if the figures are right and he runs to those figures, they say he will win, so well, let's hope. I don't think anyone would be Paco Boy a win here on Sunday. No, absolutely, he's got a lot of following, a lot of followers, and he's a very, very popular horse. I'd certainly, for one, love to see it.